What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here bringing you a quick vlog that's a little bit farther back from the camera um, to talk about the big trade today with the Philadelphia Eagles where we traded Dennis Kelly uh, for Doriel Green Beckham to the Tennessee Titans. If you saw, if you fucking saw the video where I said top five trades Eagles could potentially made. I was I was onto something. I was linked them with uh, Kendall Kendall right on Tennessee. I think I just thought there's too much depth there uh, at wide receiver for the Titans to for them to keep everyone happy. They they didn't have enough, you know, between Justin Hunter, between Doriel Greenback, and between Kendall Wright, between um, Richard Matthews or no, is that his name? Richard Matthews. Yeah, the guy they just got from Miami. Basically, there's too many mouths to feed. So. They were a team that had some areas of weakness that they could look at, you know, reallocating some assets and trading a wide receiver. And we ended up getting Doriel Green Beckham. Now, I'll be the first one to say that he's kind of a piece of shit and this is very risky. But if it does work out, he's exactly what we need, man. This guy here, I remember, um, he was the highest recruited wide receiver coming out of high school. He looked everything of the part while he was at Missouri and then he got some off field issues. And for those of you that don't know what he did, Fuck, it's early. I just woke up. For those of you who don't know what he did, basically, I think he found out, like, his girlfriend was a lesbian or something like that, and then he basically kicked the shit out of his girlfriend. Um, so, I mean, like I said, like, when he was coming in, I thought he was going to be kind of a bust because of the off-the-field stuff, but, I mean, he looked all right after his rookie year, man. He looked like a guy that's refining everything, a little bit inconsistent, but he looks like he's getting better, and, you know, for the fact that if we gave out something big for him, I would be... Like, if we gave up, like, a third, fourth round pick, or if we gave up a starter to, to move and get this guy, I'd be a little bit upset because, like, I personally, if this guy wasn't on the Eagles, I'd still say, you know, the jury's still out on him. He needs to prove himself more. He's not an, an established commodity in the league right now. But the fact that we got him for Dennis Kelly is is the, the key factor here. You can't expect him to be like, oh, my God, our wide receivers are going to be great now. Oh, my God, we're going to have a fucking sick off. It's then that we got Doyle Green Beckham. No, he is still a prospect, but he is a much better looking prospect than Nelson Aguilar at this point. And obviously, that's why we made this move. We saw our wide receivers, you know, inability to break off coverage against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That was horrendous. Not one single guy got open. And, you know, Jordan Matthews wasn't playing. I think Jordan Matthews is going to have a good year. But, um... Everyone else, Nelson Aguilar, Ruben Randall, guys like that, um, you know they weren't they weren't they weren't getting the job done. And I'm I'm glad this like I said this trade makes two things is the, is the summary for this trade. One, it shows that this team is willing to make adjustments. That was something that I could not believe with Chip Kelly. And we needed a corner. There's corners out there with Chip. He wouldn't make the trade. He stuck by his guns. He stuck by you know the guys that he thought would get the job done that everyone else knew wasn't going to do it. He would, it's, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword. At least here we're seeing that, fuck, we need a wide receiver. What can we go and get? Well, how about we go get a 6'5", 230-pound monster that still has a lot of potential? Some off-field issues, but, um, you know, last year he had five, or, uh, okay, and that, the second thing that it shows you is the value. You can't be upset with this pick for the value. Dennis Kelly, was it, that's who it was, Dennis Kelly, I believe. What is he? Des Kelly is a backup tackle. He is our backup tackle, and he's debatably as bad as Matt Tobin and Andrew Gardner. So, like, we have three guys that were in the same mold of, you know, some they're sometimes they're average, most times they're bad for backup O line death. So, getting a backup O line, trading away a backup O lineman for a guy that could potentially be a starting wide receiver on a wide receiver hurt team with absolutely no risk. He's still on his rookie deal. We don't have to pay him a whole lot. It's a brilliant, brilliant trade. And uh, Jeff McClain, a, a beat reporter for the Philadelphia Eagles that I follow, just said Doyle Green Beckham had 550 yards and four touchdowns. So he would have been overall like the second wide receiver on this team last year. So good move. I'm glad to see this move. Like I said, don't I don't think you know we should overreact. He is kind of a piece of shit. But you know we got Michael Vick, who's uh, kind of a piece of shit, and that worked out for a season or two. So hopefully this is the beginning of something beautiful. Worst case scenario. Eagles got a little bit better in Madden because Doriel Green Beckham is definitely going to be a guy that's fun to play with in Madden. He's going to be a uh, very, um, you know, aggressive catch. You can just keep throwing the aggressive catch because he's 6'5". But uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I have a gut feeling a lot of you guys are going to be happy with this trade. Um, and, I mean, I'm a guy that can get over stuff in college. I thought, like I said, you know, guy beating the shit out of his girlfriend's never... Uh, 
Never a good thing to have on your roster, but hopefully he he learned from that, and now that he's in a professional environment, all that is behind him. And uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Uh, if you're a fan of this trade for the cheap heat, the cheap pop here, if you're a fan of the trade, let's smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. But until next time, it's your boy C4 saying. Hopefully this video was a little bit closer out from the camera, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.